Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Tuesday the 29th of May and this is my daily stock signals video from our signals membership on Wave5Trade.com. Today I'm going to look at potential short trades but firstly our members area, our members get the option to download spreadsheets for potential fifth wave long trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames, short trades similar, also stochastic long trades intraday and stochastic short trades intraday. So let's have a look at um, the short trades. So our members basically every single day get the option to download the spreadsheet with all of the signals for each day. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today. So I've chosen Oxley on the daily time frame here. So I've gone and chosen one of the um, signals from the daily time frame. This is what the spreadsheet looks like with the symbol description, the time frame, which sector it's in, which group, the volume, the two day high to give you an idea, a rough idea what price it is right now. So let's have a look at the chart for one of the ones that I've chosen for today. So I've chosen KMB on the daily time frame. This is for a potential short trade. This is the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com. And for those users um, that have, have the Indicator Suite, this is a double top here. So when we're isolating the wave count for the software to automatically label this Elliott Wave count, you can either go for the first or the second of the double top, it doesn't really matter, we get the ABC corrections in there but it still labels it exactly the same as this, one, two, three and then the wave four pullback. Don't forget we do have versions of this for TradeStation, Think or Swim and Multichart. So let's just zoom in a little bit here and have a look what's going off with this fourth wave. First of all, we'll talk about the filters for the scanner membership, the stock signals membership here. So th there's some basic scanners. The 535 oscillator down here, this was pulled back between 90 and 140%. The stochastics crossed over in the overbought zone and the wave four has pulled back into our automated probability zones. They're the initial sort of filters on the data for that potential fifth wave move down here. The probability zones, the wave four in this case has found resistance in the amber zone. So that's got an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zones down here in blue. So let's have a look at the entry very, very quickly. Got to keep this simple. We also we use the 6-4 moving average low, which is part of our indicator suite, for an initial entry strategy. But we've got to look at previous price action. And this rejection doji right here is an obvious point where we've got to make sure that we're going to go low below this low of this candle here. So the entry for, for this short on KMB on the daily time frame is 102.48. So we are way below the 6 foot moving average low and just below the low of this doji candle here for this day, which was an indecision day. So we want to make sure we're going short below there. And the stop loss on the is just above the wave for high, 106.08. That conservative entry strategy still gives us a very very good risk to reward of over one to two into our automated target zones so very very simple from our stock scanner membership we get these potential signals I've used the Elliott wave indicator suite from wave5trade.com to help me set this up and uh, we've got this potential short on KMB okay that's it for today have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow